This is Dave from the Wonder Online team. And today in this video, I'll show you how you can bring time series data from a CSV file into Wonder Online. We'll start off on the home page. I'm going to click in the top right the suite icon, as we call it, and I'm then going to pick on administration. When that page loads, we can see that we've got tiles here for all the administrator functions. And one of them, in the middle here, is for data sources, which, when I go into, will show me all of the sources and systems I have feeding data into Wonderware Online. New with the December 2016 update, we've given an add button for creating a new data source. I click on that and choose CSV data source. I give my data source a name, demo data source, and when I click OK, I get some options for getting data in here. The first tab lets me upload CSV files just doing drag and drop, while the second tab, HTTPS endpoint, that gives me information for if I want to push data in here programmatically. That's a bit more advanced though, so let's go back to the upload CSV files. For both methods, we support what's known as a wide format CSV. That's probably the most common format around for time series data in CSV files. A lot of existing systems will export it, and it's also pretty commonly used with something like Microsoft Excel. You can get a sample of that file by clicking on this link here, data sample file. I click on that, I see the file downloads, and if I open that in Excel, we'll see that the format looks pretty, pretty simple. You should be familiar with this format already. It's what you'll see most of the time when you're working with a, a file in CSV, or sorry, a CSV file in Excel. First column is date time, then we have one column for each tag or each set of values that we want to bring in. So let's close Excel. And if I have a CSV file that's in the right format, it really is just a case of dragging it into this area in the middle of the dialog here, where it says drop CSV file. I happen to have one of those already. So what I'll do is I'll just grab that file and drag it into here. We'll see the progress indicator tick up, and that tells me the data is now on its way into Wonderware Online. Now that exact same method works for both data, so time series data, and for metadata. Things like engineering units, scales, uh, descriptions, comments, those kind of things. So long as the CSV file matches one of the formats, either the data sample file or the metadata sample file, Wonderware Online can deal with it, and it will look at the file and figure out what type of file it is. So now that I've brought my file in, I'll close the dialog here for my demo data source, and I'll see that my data sources page has updated, and it shows me demo data source with a type CSV, and I can see it's uploaded just a couple of minutes ago. That data will now be available to me to use in search or in charts, really anything that I use inside of Wonderware Online. What I can also do is I can click on the row here and I get some options that I can either upload more data or I can view the history of data that I've brought in or uploads that have happened. The upload that I've just triggered, that went through fine, but if there'd been any issues, I'd see them on the history page. So we can see there, a few minutes ago, went through just fine and I've got the status of a tick. If there'd been a problem, there would have been an exclamation mark or a warning symbol there, which I could click on and would give me more information about the problem. Now if I go back to my search, I can do a search on that data. If I just put in the word sample, I'll see that I have two tags there from that file, sample speed tag and sample temp tag. So there you have it, drag and drop as a method for getting time series data from a CSV file into Wonderware Online. It is that simple. 